contentment um, because for whatever reason this season that we're all in right now it's just hard um, there's a lot of ups and downs but it's hard to in every moment of every day live content um, and see the joy and so that's been my prayer for me and for also my friends my family um, where I've just seen loss but also good things and so just trying to find a balance and where do, where do we find contentment and joy when that's not dependent on our circumstances um, or on our, our emotions. And so I've been thinking on Philippians 4, 11 through 13. I'm gonna read it for you guys right now. It says, I'm not saying this because I'm in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. I'm sure a lot of you guys recognize that last scripture, Philippians 4.13, right? We can do all things through him who gives us strength. But when you give context to that and you realize that that has to do with us being content in every single moment of every day, I think it gives it much bigger meaning, right? Because if we can do all things through him who gives us strength, that means that in every moment of every day we can live joyful and content despite having plenty or having none at all. Um, and so I also wanted to read um, another word from Paul in Romans 12, 12. It says, um, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. So I looked at Paul's life and, you know, he says um, he's on the secret of contentment. I'm like, Paul, I want to know what the secret is. Tell me what the secret is because I want to be content in every moment and every day. Um, but what Paul did is he praised God and thanked God. That was like, that was it. He was in prison, um, in a prison cell, praising the Lord at the top of his lungs and thanking him for all that God was doing um, in his life and his friends' lives um, in the Christian community. And so that's my call to you guys this week. Um, if you find yourself struggling to be content, struggling to um, find joy in life, um, you're questioning what's going on in the world, um, I would just ask you to pause wherever you are, I'm telling myself this too, um, right now, um, pause, um, list, actually list things that you're thankful for. And I'm not talking about, thank you God for a pretty day, thank you God for my family. I'm saying, think of very specific things, um, more than family. Thank you God for this new husband that you gave me and he serves me so well, thank you. Um, thank you for the rain that hopefully is putting out fires across the US right now specifically thank God for things that you're so thankful for and allow that to lead you into moments of praise. Allow yourself to praise God for what he's doing in your life and the lives of those around you. Um, so yeah, that's my hope and my prayer for you guys and I hope you have a great week.